Hello, it's me again, Oti from Oti Scotia. We're well into spring, and you know, with warmer weather comes relaxed dining, bistro, our fresco. So today I'm gonna be um, kind of going a little bit Italian. And there's a story behind this because I walked into the store, an ethnic store, and I saw something packaged that was called Bali. So I was there thinking, okay, you know, I could try this. It's a kind of spaghetti made with Bali. But apparently, it appears also is an Italian name for Bali. So this was them just confusing me. Anyway, I have this stuff. And so I decided to use it kind of to make a quick dish with scallops. I love seafood, so anything seafoody, calamari, scallops, oysters, um, shrimp, yeah, you see I use a lot of shrimp in the kitchen, I like. So this was on sale in the store, I bought it, so I'm going to kind of mix it up and make like a, a one pot dish with the orzo, yeah, so I'm going to be using also some um, scallops, onions, garlic, a little bit of um, black pepper and some bouillon and butter so this is clarified butter right otherwise known as ghee but in this case it's just butter that you've cooked away all the um wet solids from this stuff is really delicious right so it's going to be made in butter and typically foods cooked in butter is called picada right picada or picata i guess depending on what part of the continent you're from and so i'm going to be cooking it in a little bit of butter and um organic chicken stock right so what i do in order to kind of lower saturated fat i mix butter and olive oil one to one okay still gives me that um mouth feel that i want with um foods cooked in butter but i've kind of reduced the saturated fat just on my own okay i'm also going to be giving it a tangy taste with a little bit of white wine vinegar yeah this calls for dry white wine but i'm not in the mood for alcohol today so i'm replacing with a little bit of dry white of <laughs> white wine vinegar and topping up with more chicken stock okay so this is my garnish i'm gonna be garnishing um with a bed of arugula a little bit of parsley or cilantro if you don't have parsley some lemon juice lemon zest and capers okay so capers give food this kind of sweet salty um tangy taste right if you mix the capers in with either your rice or your pasta in this case yeah so also is like um i tell my children i said it's pasta rice because essentially that's what it is is pasta shaped in the form of rice Okay, so it's going to be a very quick dish because this takes about 10-15 minutes to cook and then you mix it up with the garnish and it's done. Okay. And there you have it, a meal fit for a queen. <laughs> this is so good, so good, yeah. So it's basically done, yeah. Serve on the bed of greens, and um, the pasta is cooked until it's a little bit past al dente, and then I mixed it with my garnishing, and that's it. Topped it up with the scallops. So scallops are master vanishers right you bring a bag of scallops you try to cook it and it just literally shrivels before your eyes okay so this is all the scallops that i was trying to cook and this is what it came to okay so it's done i hope you get to try this so it's really quick really easy just the time it takes for the pasta to cook is really all that you need the white wine 
in this case I added a little bit of white wine vinegar gives it this very nice um, savory you know tangy taste yes and the capers just amplify that a little bit more okay so I'll see you in the kitchen next week I hope you get to try this again it's spring Time for greens, so more greens in the kitchen, greens, greens, greens everywhere, okay? So until then, until next week from my kitchen to yours, it's a very, very bon appetit.